And it's not dissimilar to what HBO did in the 1990s when they came along and said, we're not TV, we're HBO. And we would say to you, we're not short form, we're Quibi. Jeffrey Katzenberg, Meg Whitman, you are launching Quibi, which means quick bites. What is a quick bite? We're actually trying to bring the best of Hollywood and Silicon Valley together to launch a new entertainment platform that delivers content in quick bites. And we say that's under 10 minutes. That's brought to you by the best talent in Hollywood and combines that with the platform, a technology platform, that it makes mobile viewing on your, um, viewing video on your mobile better than it's ever been. Makes those moments extraordinary. And, and the theory is that people are going to be, are going to want to watch premium content, HBO level quality content on their phones instead of TV, in addition to TV? In addition to it, if you're 25 to 30 years old, which is our core audience, you get up every day, you leave your home and you take a television set with you. And between seven in the morning and seven at night, right now, today, you're watching 70 minutes, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Facebook watching this. And it stuff's fantastic. We think we can bring uh, Hollywood quality to that kind of consumption and bring a level of storytelling that the creators in that world had never been able to afford to do because they didn't have the resources. And in a subscription service, we actually can do it. And it's not dissimilar to what HBO did in the 1990s when they came along and said, we're not TV, we're HBO. And we would say to you, we're not short form, we're Quibi. So when did you see this opening? How, like, tell me how we got, what, what, was the, what was the bell that went off in your head and, and said, okay, there's a market for this, I'm going to give Meg Whitman a call. Build business. <laughs> how, did, how did that happen? It's, a, it's, a, bunch, it's a, a lot of different bits and pieces that came together. It was seeing what Dan Brown did with Da Vinci Code was, again, an aha moment mm -hmm. there of just saying, wait a minute, you can tell a great story, but you can do it in bite sizes. And I called Meg and I said, I have the craziest idea in the world in this. I know what I know. I know what I don't know, and you actually know everything that I don't know. Right. I have this little mental model of great consumer tech businesses. First is, are the trends, are the wind at your back, are the trends right? The trends are dead on here. Mm -hmm. The second is, are you changing customer behavior or are you giving them an alternative to what they have today that a certain percentage of people will fall in love with? And, you know, listen, everyone is watching video on their mobile phone. This is not a new thing. It's 60 minutes a day, up from just six minutes five years ago. So people are doing it, and it's a growth category. And with 5G, we're a perfect use case for 5G. But let's, like, pull back and look at Hollywood and the entertainment business generally. There's obviously a lot of change happening. There are a lot of different companies, whether you're talking about Netflix or Amazon or Apple or Disney or AT&T and Warner Media or Comcast. They're all trying to create their services and, and do their thing. Five years, ten years down the line, is there room at the table for everybody, including Quibi is, and, and then all the music subscription services? I mean, does everyone get to play in this game? Or, or at some point are we going to arrive at a place where there are a handful of services that are actually working and the rest fall yeah. away. Well, I think this is the most disruptive period of time maybe in Hollywood history. I think For everyone, sure. I'm new to Hollywood, but that's what everyone tells me. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about what's going to happen, I think there is going to be all kinds of new services. Right now, we're doing something very different than Netflix, Amazon, you know, all the services are about to launch. They're all going to long-form OTT services. We're going for quick bite content in a completely different use case, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., on-the-go viewing and mobile only. So we're headed this way. How will you guys measure success five years from now? What does that look like? There's, there's a creative dream and there's a business dream here. The creative dream is, is that we've lived through the era of movies, that you watch a two or two and a half hour story in a single sitting, and then we've been doing that for 110 years. Um, we've had TV where you watch an, an episode, a chapter at a time, that you watch one hour in a setting, and then you watch it on a TV set. Five years from now, my dream come true is we come back here and we will watch Quibbies, which we watch on our cell phones and we watch them in bite sizes of five to ten minutes on the, on the go. And Quibi is to short form what Kleenex is to tissue or Google is to search. That's the dream. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.